All right, we got another degenerate rip for you today. These are upper deck golf tins, and they're available now at your local Walmarts. Oops. So yeah, these nice big tins with Tiger Woods on the cover. It says collect orange dazzlers. There's not much of a checklist here. There's a couple short printed inserts and such. But hey, let's give it a shot. These were, I think, 35 a piece. So I grabbed two. And I'm not a golfer. I don't watch golf. I don't play golf. So I don't know. That's always my philosophy with these things. When, when I open products of sports that I really don't watch or know anything about. If I hit a good card, then it gives me a reason to watch or care about the sport. So that's why I like opening random stuff like this. So let's do it. Upper Deck Golf. Plenty of packs here. Let's do this. I think there's like Halitosis is the one of the young guns you should look for. Oh, I already forgot. I asked my friend and I already forgot. But let's do this. Colin Morikawa. Season highlights. Hudson Swafford. So you get a base card and some season highlights cards. No Morikawa is good. I've at least heard of some of these people. The crazy thing is though. I heard that people are actually going into their local Barnes & Noble right now and buying Sports Illustrated for kids because Tiger Woods' son is featured in it. Charlie Woods, I think his name is. He's like 13 or 14 years old and people are already trying to get his... There's a cool one, John Daly. Oh, we get a Young Guns of Lanto Griffin. But they're going for the Charlie Wards. It's like a Char Charlie Ward, uh, Charlie Woods. It's like a. It's not a Young Guns. It's like some kind of his first card or something, and it's a cutout. Like you've got to rip it off the page. People are already willing to go out and invest in him and grade his cards. Me personally, um, I will not be investing in Charlie Woods. He's about fourteen. He's a product of divorce, grew up around divorced parents. He's already at a bit of a deficit in life. I'm not going to be investing in his cards. And uh, that's just a joke. I grew up around divorced parents and this is how we cope with our traumas, right? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just screwing around. He's probably a good golfer. But there's Burned Weisberger, National Heroes. I kind of like this. Is National Heroes some kind of short print? National Heroes, 1 in 30 packs. So there you go. National Heroes. Wow, look at this red background. Brittany Altamare. Thomas. Eh. Burned Weisberger. I, and I looked at the checklist. I believe there's only two autographs. One is Tiger Woods. I forget who the other one is. But there's some really cool inserts in this. Upper Deck, in my opinion right now, has the best short printed inserts out of Panini. Ooh, what is this? Canvas. Jason Duffner. Aaron Wise. As I was saying, Upper Deck has some of the best short printed inserts. I know they're making the Metal Universe stuff. I'll definitely be getting a hobby box of that, but Metal Universe Skybox is one of my favorite sets ever. We get our Dazzlers in here. We're looking for a Tiger Woods Dazzler. Can we get it? Justin Thomas. Dazzler. Carlota Seganda. And you know what? Golf and golf culture. Never was a big fan of that. I just 
never was a big fan of golfing culture. It's all it's these guys. It's it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of baby boomers, just kind of wasting all their retirement money on an expensive golf retreat or, or golf resort membership. Oh, we get a John Pock Young Guns. The world's kind of burning around them. They don't want to retire. They don't want to sell their houses, but they want to golf and smoke cigars and complain about how the next generation is a bunch of P-words while they can't even afford a house at the age of 40 years old. Okay, what is this? We got another canvas? Canvas Young Guns, Matthew Fitzpatrick. Love me some Canvas Young Guns. Where did I put my handy dandy box cutter? There is absolutely nothing wrong with playing golf. Golf with your lads. Just being a uh, bitter Gen Z or millennial or. Okay. We got something here. UD Gallery, Billy Horschel, and a precision Matthew Fitzpatrick. Shintama Tiger Woods makes an appearance. And a Will Zalatoris, another guy that's really good. But Tiger Woods, amazing how this guy, everyone loves him. Everyone loves Tiger Woods. Yeah, I don't know what these are, your gallery and precision, but I almost forgot. We have another one. That was a, this. This one will not take as long to rip. There will not be as many uh, dark jokes. Okay, upper deck golf. Get these out here, but I do like this. You know, the more sports that have cards, the better. Gives us a whole new way to appreciate the sport and root for players. Instead of, uh, instead of betting on their player props every night, we can actually just buy a card and root for them. It's a lot easier. Will Zalatoris. We get a Dazzlers of Amari Avery. And I do love the Dazzlers inserts. We get Amari Avery. Yep, I just dropped that on the floor. All right. I mean, I'm kind of enjoying this so far. I'm an upper deck fanboy. I am. I probably give them way too much credit than they deserve. But I enjoy opening their cards. We get another canvas, I think, here. It is Chris DeMarco. Horschel and Glover. And canvas, the UD canvas and hockey are always so cool. So it's nice to get them in another sport. I'm all out of, all out of little uh, easels. Okay. Swafford, a precision of Justin Sue, Cameron Champ, Young Guns. Man, with a last name like Champ, you gotta be insufferable. You gotta come from a family that probably made a lot of money profiting from recessions and profiting off of <laughs> off of the blood sweat and tears from others if you have a last name like champ you gotta be uh <laughs> you, you gotta come from you gotta come from a uh, family of of golfers <laughs> I'll put it that way we get Yuka Sasso Yuka Sasso from the Philippines, turned pro in 2021. 
Look at that earnings. She's making bank. Good for Yuka. Where I'm from, in South Florida, when you hear Yuka, you get hungry. You don't think of golf. Did I look through these already? Three Connors. Okay, we got four packs left. I want. I'm curious to see what these cards go for. What people are spending on golf cards. If there was like a big need for this, if or there was like a big desire for golf cards. Because hey, if if they're selling well, that's pretty cool. I would like that. I mean, there's got to be a reason Upper Deck brought it back. If there wasn't a need for, or a desire for golf cards. Matthew Fitzpatrick. This is like the third time I've seen this guy have an insert, and we did hit a canvas young guns of him, so I'm hoping that card was a big winner. That's Generation Next. Matthew Fitzpatrick. All right. Two packs. There's something red. What is this? Oh, it's just the background. Hodgeguard. Siwoo Kim. Julie Inkster. And Stacy Lewis. Takes us to the final pack of today's rip. We got something here. What's this? Honor roll. Lucas Herbert and a Corey Connors Young Guns. Very oh, and another Tiger. I feel like this is the exact same pack. Didn't the the last pack of the the first box have Tiger and then Zalatoris at the end? I might be tripping, but where did I put my odds? They all, they are all fell on the floor. It's a disaster on the here. Let's just let's just hope when I look at the comps that this card is. Or something. Honor roll. Lucas Herbert. A Young Guns. Young Guns of Corey Connors. And a Tiger Woods. It's nice you could hit Tiger out of something that isn't good win champions now. But there you go. I thought that was a fun rip. I'm no golfer, but I enjoyed that. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you all next time. Peace. DJ rips with his fingertips. He'll go broke.